Oh. Oh. Ooh. Now I know where every team facing Tom Brady feels. Go see it. Are you ready to work out like Tom Brady? Do you want to work out like Tom Brady? Go see it. What do you think? Ready for this pliability training? Go see it. Go see it. Go see it. For this video, it's time to train like Tom Brady. I did a lot of research for this video to try to figure out, okay, what are the Tom Brady workouts? What are the Tom Brady exercises? A lot of the information that I used to make this video came from both his book, The TB12 Method, and also with the article he did with Men's Health. Pliability is a foundation of the TB12 Method and the big foundation of all of Tom Brady's trainings. In terms of the exact definition, in terms of what is pliability, pliability refers to the state of muscles that say long, soft, and primed through the acts of daily living and activity. So one of the core staples of the TB12 method is using resistance bands, which I have right here. So I'm only gonna be using resistance bands for some of these workouts. And of course, I'm gonna combine this with some cardio and some agility style training. Another staple of the TB12 method is staying properly hydrated. So I have this gigantic gallon water jug, got to stay hydrated. Rock and roll. Kind of cheesy. It works though. It works. Oh, it's good. It's good. <sighs> well, Clara, good workout, right? So I know the echo in here is pretty bad, but just finished up with the workout. So now, first things first, gotta have a protein shake. Cheers. Oh yeah, just finished up with the workout, having some protein up top. So there's a lot that comes with the TB12 diet and TB12 nutrition. As you can see here, there's a lot of different foods, you know, starting with fish, meat, and poultry. There has been some rumors that Tom Brady is vegan or vegetarian. He actually does eat meat, but the bulk of his diet comes from vegetables and superfoods and fruits, you know, basically nuts, seeds, all the good stuff. So I have a few things here that I prepared in terms of what I'm having today. Starting with watercress and radish sprouts. I love this because watercress is actually one of the most nutrient dense vegetables. Incredibly good view. I'm gonna have that with radish sprouts. Then at the end of my workout, I actually had some Pedialyte. Electrolytes are super important. And one thing I wanna say is a quick side note, Pedialyte is not just for babies. It is an incredible electrolyte beverage to have. And I like kind of the powdered form because they're super portable. You have some water, pour the electrolytes in, you get to go. Then I have some coconut water for more electrolytes. And this also has plant-based protein in it. I next have some tuna. Some vitamin D, this also is mixed with vitamin D and K2, so it's a synergistic blend. Then I'm gonna have some grains, and then lastly, continue to stay hydrated by having a ton of water 
throughout the day. These are just a few of the examples of the food and the nutrition I'm gonna have today. Remember that when it comes to working out, and I know it's like a very cliche thing, but it's unbelievably true that diet and nutrition is incredibly and unbelievably vital to health and longevity. However, there is one last part to the TV12 method that most people don't know about and is incredibly underrated. And that is mental training. As you can imagine, football is not just about being the best athlete on the field in terms of physical performance, it's also about being mentally sharp, especially as the quarterback, knowing all the plays, seeing the field, and trying to figure out all these technicalities on the fly. So right now, as you can see, I have the TB12 and Brain HQ loaded up right now. He does this roughly about 15 minutes a day from what I saw. And so I'm gonna do one of the exercises. So this is the Daily Spark. So let's get started. Train your visual perception, exercise your field of view, both of which help determine how much information you can quickly capture. All right, so let's see. So I have to look for the, the blackbird, all right. Got it. But this gets really hard. Soon after. Ah, oh, all right, first one I missed. Dang. It's actually really, I can see this actually being super beneficial, especially if you're on the field and you have to like be super quick to immediately like determine who to throw the ball to and what every player's doing. Wow, it's actually getting very difficult. Let's go, let's go. If you sign up with a free account on TB12 Brain HQ, you get one daily spark exercise or basically one free exercise as you saw per day. That's actually a lot harder than I thought, especially near the end got pretty tricky but as you can see if you do this every day especially only for like 15 minutes it really does help keep you mentally sharp which is absolutely vital so working on my short passes